Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome to Do Daily. It's Des here. Who's ready for that City Slickers Solidarity Session? Who's ready for some Tuesday training? To really attack the week from here on in. Hopefully you managed to get out yesterday. Never miss a Monday. Of course, I always look to encourage that. I always look to start the week with real intention and purpose. And I managed that myself last night, late last evening. Managed to meet up with more friends than normal in a group that's getting a little bit bigger, of course, with the lessening of restrictions. That's so nice to uh, keep inviting people in, keep enjoying the things we do. Do you know, so to start the week like that has put me in fantastic spirit, as well as lots of other things, as mentioned on Do Daily yesterday. But today it's about sort of taking it that extra step, getting involved in this virtual community activity where you can choose what you do, whether it's run, walk, cycle, take part at home. Do you know, just like you'd sort of book in a virtual workout online or you'd book in a swim or a gym session. This is just something you can do sort of alone, but no other people are getting involved too. And it's always better when other people are involved, isn't it? If you put that little bit of accountability into your day, if you arrange to meet somebody to do it, do you know, it's the perfect opportunity. In the next couple of weeks, I'll be looking to reintroduce the solidarity session, that, sorry, the City Slickers session, that the solidarity session is born out of, do you know, and hopefully by meeting locally here in Nottingham with some of the guys who really enjoy that, you know, trying to re-establish and rebuild that group, it'll just offer a little bit of extra motivation for people to get involved, see what we're doing from afar, you know, and potentially sort of join us virtually still, but still with all those things I mentioned before, the accountability, the community, the, the sense of achievement, you know, that's what the solidarity session's all about. What it also allows is people to sort of feel, feel the, the way in softly. Do you know, whilst I'm a massive advocate of groups and community and doing things together, do you know, I know it's not for everybody. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea and it can be particularly daunting from the outset. So it's a chance for people to look in what we're doing, do you know, get a feel, understand how friendly and encouraging and supportive it can be. Do you know, and then just take it from there, whether they choose to join us in the future or whether they just remain online. The extra beauty of it is, is people can do it from absolutely everywhere. What I'm looking to do going forward is create a real movement with this one. Got lots of ideas to take forward and really sort of spread the word about what we're trying to do. Create that little slot on a Tuesday, 6.30, sort of almost in the middle of the week, but almost at the start of the week too, the chance to sort of kick in, kick in, kick on, kick on from this point in. And that's what the solidarity session's all about. And this week, if I'm totally honest, I think it's as important as ever, isn't it? Yesterday, I was talking about the return of group activity to do running to myself locally. You'll see behind me, Trent Bridge in the distance there. This is kind of a spiritual home. So next Wednesday, we'll be starting the Trent Bridge group managed to secure a base right by the bridge which was really important and yesterday on Do Daily I spoke a lot you could see my enthusiasm flowing I was absolutely buzzing with the fact that we can get that going here again, again because like I say it's really really important to me and I accept that I don't try and um, dampen my enthusiasm with, enthusiasm with it I just sort of keep saying it as it is nothing sugar coated it's just something i really get so much from so whilst that's really really important do you know what i've realized today is it's also important to keep keep pushing on with some of the things we've done during lockdown some of the things we've used do you know and i'll be completely honest with you guys i've been feeling really tired lots of work around organizing and sorting out that session do you know it's made for real busy couple of days really really tired you know sort of lots of conversation and back-to-back -back discussions uh, amongst other things as well do you know so not long before i came out to do the video Kay asked me what i was doing i said i'm gonna go out and do the video and perhaps i'll get the solidarity session in early and then she kind of went away and i thought 
I'm absolutely not going to get the solidarity session early. I'm going to do all the things I do because the advice I give out sort of day in, day out, week in, week out over the last 14 months has been to keep that sort of momentum going, to keep pushing forward. And like I say, there's no point now me thinking, oh, because I've got these Wednesdays back, I'm not going to do that solidarity session. Not that I was, but I was, I was thinking it more along the lines of being tired. But there's no point me sort of disregarding these things that have worked so well. The amount of times it's got me back into good running habits and sort of talking to people and meeting up with people. And like I say, from before the accountability, do you know, so I've definitely got to do it when I'm not feeling um, tip top. Whilst I'm really enthusiastic, whilst I'm on top of everything, just feeling the, the pinch a little bit from from working hard and that's what it does and this is why I encourage activity at certain points in the week and encourage different things do you know because sometimes whilst we've all been waiting for sort of things to kind of go back to normal it's never going to go back to normal is it so what we have to realize is that um We've got to take the things that have worked so well forward and amalgamate them. Do you know, I've, I've spoke a lot about taking these online resources that were primarily formed for COVID and lockdown and restrictions and to help people take over, do you know, and try and encourage in a different way. Do you know, but we've got to take these forward, everyone, because one of the main reasons, like I said before, is not everybody approaches it the same way. But the most dangerous thing to think right now is that the world is just going to switch back to how it was even with the groups and having a base and having it by Trent Bridge where we've always done it do you know it doesn't mean it's going to be the same do you know there's going to be different people there's going to be a different setup do you know and of course we've still got the distancing and such things to consider do you know there's things I have to do to put in place but that's all okay but what I'm trying to sort of emphasize guys is let's not sort of disregard everything that's gone because if you do that you're probably not going to adjust to the world again you know all those people i've heard complain through covid and say i wish i had this i wish i had that were probably the ones complaining before covid saying i wish it would be this way i wish it would be that way you know and they'll probably be the ones complaining after and i'm not trying to have a dig at people here what i'm what i am saying is it's just important to remember what has been really useful and even myself you know in a tired moment back there i thought oh no i'm not going to do that today but i definitely am going to do it today do you know and even if it's just to prove to myself how much do you know i've taken from it do you know and how much it can sort of refocus me just for the rest of the day even do you know just just by being tired i was just sort of starting to think a bit differently i guess do you know but when it when it dawned on me that I've been saying for the last 14 months that get involved at this time, do you know, whilst it is okay to get out and of course I'll inc my first encouragement is to get in some Tuesday training, daily activity at any point throughout the day. I know the benefits of taking part in such a session. So if I do have the opportunity, which is exactly what I've got today, why wouldn't I take it? Why wouldn't I do it? Do you know, so it just meant a case of sort of re- Re rethinking it, refocusing, do you know, and it's giving me real purpose again. Already a friend has messaged me and said, do you want to meet up for a quick walk and do this, do you know? And that's brilliant, isn't it? Because that's going to keep me on top of things. It's going to keep me fresh. It's going to keep me active. It's going to get them endorphins flowing a bit later on, do you know? And it's going to make me want to keep building on it throughout the week. Do you know, if we sort of disregard some of the things, do you know, then things do stack up, don't they? And that's where motivation can just start to dip when you're absolutely on top of things and right now i'm absolutely flying i'm really really enjoying the way things i'm panning out some great conversations around do running around do daily you know and content potentially going forward with this you know so that's that's all stuff to be really excited about you know so it's not the time it's not the time to throw in the towel and say this is it we've, we're going back to how it was definitely not get out there get in some activity do you know whatever it is just knowing that guys are out there doing the same people have waited for this point to make a point of 
doing it with you, doing it together. You know, it was really, really important. It's really inspired me over the, the last 14 months, really got me going. As I've said before, you know, it's it's been absolutely fantastic. So that's all I really want to say, guys. You know, whilst things are starting to change, whilst things are happening, you know, things that we're totally sort of grateful for once again and been waiting for, you know, it's important not to completely disregard everything and don't be in danger of thinking that the world's going to go exactly back to how it was if it does you won't be ready for it one thing i feel doing do daily and all these virtual activities and whatever i've done in the last 14 months by being busy i guess one thing that's happened by being busy over all this time is put me on the front foot do you know I've got feel like I've got a bit of a head start now not, not on anyone in particular just a head start to go back at it and do what what I have to do to keep sort of encouraging motivating inspiring you know delivering activity do you know and when we can do all these things as one and it becomes the new normal you know that would be absolutely fantastic don't really want to end on a positive but somebody questioned the fact I use new normal in a tweet last week do you know and i thought how negative do you know it doesn't matter does it it's only a word do you know so it's it might have become a cliche do you know social license social distancing isolation all these things that we didn't tend to use before they might have sound like a cliche and be um attached to something that none of us wanted to experience but at the end of the day everything changes all the time doesn't it and those who embrace change and take it on board and amalgamate it in with the old the new and the old together do you know tend to sort of get much more from what they're doing so if you can join us tonight just a few words on why i think it's really important guys get those yellow t-shirts on the weather's a bit up and down it's a bit tricky um you can see around the river it's a bit quiet at the moment because it's it's just been a downpour but don't let that put you off skin's waterproof so get out there knowing the guys are out with you tackling whatever the conditions for us as well you know it just makes it feel even more epic until tomorrow guys and details of how the wednesday workouts go in and more about activity probably more about the return of the sessions as well you know i'm looking forward to getting out there and at least getting plenty of steps in you know in preparation for that Wednesday workout and the details to follow from that. So have a great evening, make the most of it, come together in solidarity. I can assure you, you'll feel the benefits just doing it.